We are welcome to Remy Trade Academy and this is the home of successful traders. My name is Paradise and I will be guiding you to this training. And like I said, it's going to be a very, very sweet and fascinating one, very interesting. And this training continues tomorrow. So ensure that you'll be in training tomorrow as well. Um, one thing I would like you to do for me is to subscribe to our Forex channel. We have our crypto channel. But this is our forex channel just ensure you subscribe the link to subscribe to this channel will be dropping the group as well and if you are watching this video on youtube then the same thing help subscribe to the channel very important it helps us um, grow faster as a community and then that being said i'll be taking you through the introduction to forex training today the very basics what you need to know I know that some persons jump into trading and they don't know fundamentals about trading. It's not about knowing, knowing terminologies, but knowing what the market actually entails. And that is what I'll be guiding you through today. And tomorrow we'll go a little bit more advanced than we'll be doing today. So today is a core basis. And I'm also going to teach you how to place a trade in the Forex market. Because we have to do that today because the market is going to close any moment soon so uh, the first thing is what is forex that's the first thing every trader will ask if they you are being asked what is forex is it's just the um, foreign exchange that's what the name forex means foreign exchange this this f o r o mean foreign and this e x means exchange that is where the word forex comes from some person that are trading forex today if you ask them what what does forex actually mean they don't know they don't know so what it means is foreign exchange the first three letters for foreign and the ex is for exchange so generally it's also called forex trading you can also call it fx trading you are correct you can call it spot trading you are correct all these terminologies are used interchangeably in the markets so just follow me step by step and you will get the most from today's training so the forex market exceed six trillion dollar day trading volume what that means is what is traded today what was today yesterday each of these days their traded volume exceed six trillion what that means is what trader A is trading plus trader B plus trader C plus trader D like that combined together. That is the total day volume combined together. It exceeds 3 trillion. So it is the most liquid market in the world. And that makes it exceed the New York stock market. The New York stock market is the world most largest stock exchange which is worth about 22.4 billion dollars day traded volume but the forex market exceeded we're talking about six trillion dollars day traded volume which is very very important so this also means that it is a very liquid market you can buy and sell currencies at any time there is always a buyer and a seller for any currency pay that you want to buy or sell at any given point in time in the forex market. So, what is traded in the forex market are currencies, and these are the currencies that are traded in the forex market. We have the US dollars, and this is the symbol of the currency. We have the country, the United States, and we have the currency, we have the dollar, and the nickname for the dollar is BOG. You know, sometimes most of these nicknames are used interchangeably and new beginner traders don't know because sometimes maybe the person that taught you or the person that teaching you did not actually go through this very beginning stuff for you to know. And we have the second one here is the Euro, the Euro members. Euro is used by countries that are in the European Union, not all countries, there are exceptions with few countries that don't use the euro but majority of the countries in the european union uses euro and the currency symbol is euro and the nickname is fiber this is the name in the forex markets also we have the next one here the japanese yen jpy 
we have the second one, the, the fourth one here, which is the Great Britain Pound. The cable, we have CHF, CHEV, the Switzerland currency, Swiss franc, Swizzy is a nickname, and then we have CAD, that's from Canada, the Canadian dollar, and the Lonely is the name, and we have AUD, which is Australia dollar, from Australia, it's also a dollar, and we have the last one here, NZD, which is also called Kiwi. You know, New Zealand uses dollar as well. So we have Canada US dollar, Australia US dollar, New Zealand US dollar, and the United States US dollar, which is, they are the main owner of the dollar. Every other person that uses the dollar, any other currency that, any other country that uses the dollar is a derivative of what the US is using. The US dollar is the king in the forex market. Have you ever think about you making transaction, international transaction, you've ever done one before, and they say you, you have to convert it to US dollar first before it can go through. Or have you actually heard about recently Russia is trying to cut away everything that has to do with the US dollar spending? that is converting the Russia currency, which is the ruble, into US dollar before doing transaction in the international market. They actually want to do that, and they are doing that gradually because of they have oil and they have capacity to do that as well. But in as much as they are doing that, the US dollar is still the king in the forex market. And there are some things that make it kink in the forex market is very very important because you tend to see the us dollar almost everywhere in the forex market it sounds a lot and these are the reasons why number one is that the united states economy is the largest economy in the world you can go and find out the us economy is the like they have the largest economy in the world by far the second largest economy in the world is china but China is still running in, in, in billions, the last time I checked, but the U.S. is running in trillions. So the U.S. economy is the largest. And the second one is that the U.S. dollar is the reserve currency of the world. Go to World Bank in Switzerland. You discover that they have much reserve in dollars compared to every other currency in the world. So the U.S. dollar is the reserve currency of the world right now the third one is that yes the united dollar is the largest and most liquid market which i talk about the new york stock exchange that is what this nse mean new york stock exchange they have the largest financial markets in the world these are the things that make the us dollar the most liquid currency and give it the kingship in the forex market the u.s the, the united states has the most stable political system in the world they have one of the most stable political systems so it gives them the capacity to actually make monetary policy independent of the political system in as much as the political system also check what they are doing right there in the federal reserve so the people that take care of the the u.s dollar in terms of monetary policy is the Federal Reserve and the current chairman is um, the person of Jerome Powell. When he comes out to speak or make a speech, the forex market tends to you know, react to its speech, either against the dollar or in favor of the dollar. And the 15 year is that the United dollar is the world's sole monetary power. No country have outpowered the, U the United States when it comes to military it has not happened if it happened we will know and then the sixth one here is the us dollar is the medium of exchange for many cross-border transactions i talk about this firstly if you don't convert your naira to us dollar you cannot make certain cross-border transactions you cannot so all these things give it the kingship that it have in the forex market. So the US dollar is the king of the forex markets. Now, one thing very important is that we have to understand that the forex market is a 24 hours market. It does not stop 
from Monday to Friday. That means on Friday, the market closed. So the market is going to close today by around 10, 11 p.m. That is around two hours from now, the market is going to close. And then it will resume again Sunday night, breaking Monday, and trading start over again till Friday. So it is a 24 hour market from Monday to Friday. Unlike crypto, crypto runs 7 over 7, that's 24 over 7 from Monday to Sunday, non stop. But Forex is a little bit different, run from Monday to Friday which makes the market to close for weekend and these are the trading sections forex trading section the forex trading section is divided into four but categorically it is divided into three because i will tell you the reason why but look at it here this is a map of how the forex market runs and they overlap each other when this section is on the other section begins so the first section here is the Sydney section. Sydney is located in Australia. That is the oceanic. Okay, so it's open by 10, 10 p.m. That is on Monday. That's Sunday, 10 p.m. breaking Monday, and runs through like that to 7 a.m. on Monday morning. And then why this is in section, the Tokyo section, Tokyo in Japan, starts by 1 a.m. in the morning and runs through to 10 a.m. the same Monday morning why this one is still on the Tokyo section is still on the lockdown section starts by 8 a.m. in the morning and runs all through to 4 5 p.m. in the after in, in the evening why the London section is on remember London is in is in England and then why London section is on the New York section starts by 1 p.m. and runs through to 10 p.m. and the Sydney section take over again. So it's a 24 hour market. When this section ends, the other section have already taken over and they overlap each other. Like I said, Sydney is in Australia, Tokyo is in Japan, London is in England, and New York is in the United States. These are where the major stock exchanges in the world are located. For example, the, the Tokyo Stock Exchange, the London Stock Exchange, and the New York Stock Exchange. We have to understand this so that you know, because there are times that if you go to the forex market to trade, you will not find volatility. There will not be enough movement. There will not be buy, enough buyers and sellers moving the market up and down for you to trade. And let me, addition to this, the most liquid section is the London section. This very area is the most liquid section. And the next to it is the New York section, which is also very important. So you have to understand these different sections in the market. Best time to trade the Forex market. Like I told you, there are best time to trade and worst time to trade. So let's first of all look at the best time to trade the Forex market. The best time to trade the forex market is when two sections are overlapping, like we saw in the diagram um, in the previous slide. When two sections are overlapping, is the best time to trade. Why? Because that time there are enough buyers and sellers from this section to this section, you know, come together. The number of buyers and sellers increase, so volatility increase in the market. The next one is the European section hello can you guys hear me hello can you guys hear me I believe my mic is fine right I hear you I hear you Okay, can you hear me now? Okay. okay, fine. Thank you so much. Thank you. You can mute yourself now. Thank you so much. All right. So the next section that is also good to trade is the European section, which is the London section. It's very, very important here. And then another one here is midweek days. About midweek days, we are looking at 
Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Exclude Monday and Friday. The reason why Monday is removed is because the market just starts. Most time you don't see volatility like that in the market. And also on Friday, people are going for weekends. So people tend to close their positions and leave the market for weekend and come back on Monday, monitor the market and start trading on Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. These are the most um, time that you see volatility in the market. So this is the best time to trade. In, a most such, we, in, in as much as we have the best time to trade, we have the worst time to trade the Forex market. And the worst time to trade is on Sunday, when everyone is sleeping, you don't see volatility in the market. On Friday, volatility dies down during the US section. From what I explained earlier, you should know that right now we are in the US section. From now to 10 p.m., when the market will close. And on holidays, everybody is taking a break. For example, Christmas holiday, the market will be very, very dull. And then during major news events, don't trade during major news events. Major news events here we're talking about is the non-farm payroll. I know it, most of you may not know what the non-farm payroll is, but as you proceed, you will know the non-farm payroll and the CPI, that is the consumer price index, and then the federal fund rates. And finally, the FOMC meeting, that is a federal open market committee. When these news are going on, don't trade. The reason is because there is a lot of volatility in the market that can spike you out of the position, which is not good. You can trade after the news. As at that time, you should know the direction of the market from the data that was released in the news together with your technical analysis. And then the last one here is during American Idols and NBA final. That is the National, National Football Association. During this period, most Americans and most people watch these um, events, so they tend to be very busy enjoying themselves. So it's not the right time to trade as well. So these are the wrong time that you will trade the Forex market. And you don't need to trade this time because you will not see volatility in the market. Let's move further into today's training. How to read a currency quote how to read a currency quote how can you read a currency quote is very important so as a general rule the first two letters that you see of any currency identify the country that is coming from why the third letter identifies the name of the country's currency let's say for example we have you have usd usda the first two letters is the country, which is United States. Why the D here is the name of the currency, which is the dollars. So that is how you read the currency code. It's very simple, as simple as that. So this for the United States, US, why this is the dollar. So we call it the US dollars. That is how you read a currency code in the forex market so it does not matter which um platform you're using to trade let's say for example you go to trading view which is what i'm going to be using for today's training like this or if i remove this and then i type on my browser trading view it open trading view for me and then i will click on super charts and then it's going to open this chart for me right here. So in this case, this is a platform for analysis. You can do all kinds of analysis on trading view, whether trading forex, cryptocurrencies, stocks, indices, and commodities. You can do all your analysis on this platform and go and go and place a trade either on your MT4 or your MT5. So we have to understand that currencies can be easily read just by simply identify the first two letter for the country why the next one is for the currency so let's say for example in this case we have aud australian dollar jpy japanese yen we have the chf which go a little bit contrary to the rule swiss franc chef is a simple name we have card 
for Canadian dollars, we have AGN, Nigerian Naira. Very simple. We have SGD, the Singapore dollars, ZAR, South African RAM, USD, United States dollars, GBP, Great Britain pound. It's, it's as simple as that. You don't need to struggle yourself. Just identify the first two letters as for the country, while the last one is the name of the currency. In this case, like I said earlier, this is Great Britain and then the pound. So anything within the British colony right now, the four countries, uses pound as their currency so take note of that then as you move on write down your question how to read a pair of currency this is very important as we go deep into the training please take note this is the very basics and fundamentals in forex today if you want to trade forex and you know what you're doing pay attention write things down and keep your question for me i will answer every one of you Currencies are traded in pairs and in forex markets is not an exception. So what happened is when quoting the currency, the first currency is referred to as the base currency, while the second is referred to as the counter or quote currency. Listen again. The first in the currency quotation is called the base currency. And the base currency is the owner of the chart. Why the second one is a quote or counter currency? See it here. For example, in this case, we have this currency quotation. We have this currency quotation right here. GBP and USD. The first one, which is GBP, is the base currency. Why the second one, USD, is the quotes or counter currency that is how you read a pair of currency because currencies are traded in pairs let's say for example if you have gbp you can convert it to dollars and if you have dollars you can convert it to gbp that is why currencies are traded in pairs. you don't trade a single asset in the currency market unlike the stock market when you're trading the stock market you can trade apple stock alone you can trade um, Tesla stock alone, you can trade Facebook stock alone, you can trade any other stocks alone. But when it comes to currency, they are traded in pairs. The reason is because you need this currency to buy this and you need this currency to sell this. This is very important. So please take note of this currency pair quotation. In addition to this, what this means is one GBP is equal to 1.51258 US dollars. What it means, I want to repeat again, is that you exchange one Great Britain pound for 1.51258 US dollar. You can reverse it the other way that 1.51258 US dollar is exchanged for one pound. This is what it means. So the base currency, which is this one, is always in one monetary unit value. So let's say, for example, you have Euro and USD, which is one of the pair in the market, the most popular pair in the market. One Euro. Why is one Euro? Because it's the base currency. The base currency is always 10 one monetary value equal to this can be maybe 1.2 or 1.05869 US dollars. The most important thing you have to note is that the base currency is always in one monetary unit to the counter quotes. So a counter or quote currency okay so take note of that is very important now if you go here to trading view you see the euro usd what this means is that one euro 
is exchanged for this amount of dollars. In this case, this is a live market, 1.0808 dollars. This is what it means. So you, you, you understand everything on the platform and know how it works. So that is how to read a pair of currency. For example, like I said earlier, GBP USDT, uh, USD, sorry, 1.51258 means that one GBP is traded for 1.51 abbreviated or approximated US dollars. The base currency is always equal to one monetary unit of the exchange. One monetary unit of the exchange. The reason why you need to pay attention to this one is that so that you don't make mistake when you are trading or when your broker do compassion for you and then maybe you don't understand. That is the reason why you need a fundamental basics of how this market really works. The next one is major currencies in Forex major currencies in forex we have major currencies and we have minor currencies please and please there is a little confusion that i find with beginner traders is, is that they don't they can't differentiate between a major currency and a minor currency for example all that you're seeing right now on the screen is the major currency major currency not a major currency pair there's in between major currency pair in major currency we have the first one here euro we have the great britain pound australian dollar the us dollar the japanese yen the canadian dollar the swiss franc and the new zealand dollar these are all major currencies in the forex markets these are all major currencies in the forex market take notes and the next one is minor currency so any other currency that is not mentioned in the majors in the previous slide is called minor currency for example we have the singapore dollar the russian ruble south african round gambian delasi Ghanaian new cd cyprus pound chinese yen all of these are grouped into minor currencies. Very important. Take note. Major currency pairs. Like I said, there's in between major currency and major currency pairs. So, major currency pairs. The major currency pairs are all the major currency paired with the US dollars. All the major currencies paired with the US dollars is called the major currency pair. All the major currencies paired with the US dollar. If you see what is on the screen right now, you see that all of the pair here are with US dollars. Euro USD. GBP USD, AUD USD, USD GPY, USD CAD, USD CHEF, USD NZD. These are all paired with the USD. So they are called major currency pairs. Every other currency that is not paired with the US dollar that is a major, they are called minor currency. It can be mistaken, but don't mistake it. Major currency pay is even from major currency. And major currency pay are all the major currencies paired with the US dollars. So every other one are minor currency pay. For example, Euro GPY, Euro card, GBP, AUD, AUD Chef, USD, NZD. You can ask why is why is this? These two not a a major currency but the reason is because naira is not a major currency south african rand is not a major currency let me go back again to show you something very important look at the major currencies here there is no naira here there is no south african rand here so even though us dollar is paired with naira you can't term it 
a major currency no a major currency pair no you can't you can't tell me like that and also on the other hand if you say usd south african ram is not also a major currency pay so we have major currency pays all these are major currency pays why minor currency pays are this one every other currency there is no us dollar pair with the major currencies they are all minor currency pairs in this case euro gpy and all of them down to aud gpy and etc they are very very many because if you look at the currencies that we have in the whole world and different countries currency they are very important and they are just very many and you can also actually number them not that they are innumerable they are not you can actually number them but they are very very many so we have what is called cross currency a cross currency is a currency pair traded that does not include the us dollar as one of its currency whereby one have to exchange the currency to trade for it without having first convert into us dollars there's one thing i talked about before now and i said before you trade cross-border transactions you must have to convert your money to us dollars and then you do that transaction but in the forex market it's also called cross currency so to avoid that thing in the forex market you can convert your money directly to every other currency without converting it to the us dollar first before doing your transaction i know that most brokers have a specific um, a currency based um, account and one of their popular option is the us dollar account which preferably almost all traders use because the us dollar is the king of the forex market and no country have proven qualify to you know hijack being the first from them so we have examples of cross puts for example in the eurozone the cross currencies for the euro is euro jpy euro card euro aud euro jpy euro chef euro nzd etc we also have the gbp crosses which is gbp card gbp aud gbp jpy gbp nzd we also have the aud crosses we have the aud chef aud U, and gpy aud card etc so all of every other currency have their crosses not pair with the us dollars so you can as well do your transaction directly without converting your dollar your, your money to dollar and then buy the currency in mind let's say for example you want to purchase nzd but what you have is naira you should first of all convert your naira to us dollars then use US dollars to buy nzd but when it comes to cross quotes you are directly using your naira to buy what nz directly without any conversion so that is what cross quotes doors in the forex markets and we have a lot of pairs that have their crosses all right exotic currencies these are very important stuff exotic currency exotic currencies are currencies that are not commonly traded in the forex market currencies originating from developing countries and um, country in asia most part of asia uh, except china and somehow india every other country around asia falls under exotic currency in the pacific region in the middle east and also africa currencies from this region um, i think africa here yeah, except um, i think nzd have I have now a little bit come out of this list to be exotic um, currency because it's mostly traded in most platform right now but it's still under exotic until um, some African countries become developed countries so mostly countries that are developing or underdeveloped 
their currencies are termed as exotic currency. And the reason why they're termed as this is because they are not commonly traded. You can't commonly see them being traded in the forex markets. For example, especially Naira or Ghanaian UCD or Gambian Delasi. You can't really, you know, find them being traded in the forex market. So example of this exotic pairs are all of these are exotic pairs. USD in an engine USD Zar South African RAM Euro NGN CAD Gambia Delasi USD Canadian City all of them these are all exotic pairs one thing you have to know is that you can pair currencies yourself for example you can just see a currency and say okay this can be paired like this through a particular frequency which I'm going to show you guys later in tomorrow's class. So don't miss tomorrow's class. Like I said, this training is two days. Don't attend today and don't attend tomorrow. And if you're watching on YouTube, watch the two videos. Watch the first video and watch the second video tomorrow to be fully impact with what we have for you guys in today's training and also tomorrow. Long position long position what is a long position in the forex market uh, those of you that trade crypto you should know that long position means that you are buying the market let's say for example market is at this point right now and from your analysis you think that the market is going to move up and then at this point, you place a buy. That is, you buy. When you buy, you place a long position. So you can say long position is equal to buy position. So long is another name for what? Buy. You can use this interchangeably, it is correct. Let me explain again. Let's say, for example, you've done your analysis and from here you think the market is going to move up and then you buy for market to move up. You've taken a long position. So what we do in the Forex market is when we know that market is going to move up from our analysis, we buy. So when market moves up, you'll be in profit. If market goes down, you'll be in loss. But you can cut your losses short by using stop loss, setting stop loss. And not only setting stop loss, you have to set strategic appropriate stop loss at a particular point on your chart from your analysis. So when you place a long position, you are actually buying the market. You are saying the market is going to move up. So what that mean in the forex market let's say for example you're trading euro usd let's relate it to, to um forex now in terms of this chart euro usd if you are trading euro usd and you buy euro usd what it means is that you are exchanging one euro for this amount of dollars or you are exchanging this amount of dollars for one euro remember euro is the base currency here why usd is a counter or quote currency and what you have to understand is that when you buy for market to move up you are saying that euro is going to increase in value and if euro increase in value the US dollar is going to depreciate in value so anytime this chart move upward it means that it's euro that is increasing why US dollar is doing what is decreasing and the reverse is the case for the next slide we're going to look at which is 
short position. So short position is that you are saying that the market is going to go down and when you short or when you sell, the market goes down, you'll be in profit. And if market go against you, that means if you buy from here, market goes up, you'll be in profit, market goes down, you'll be in loss. And then if you sell from here, market goes down, you'll be in profit. If market goes up, you'll be in loss. Now, let me further explain um, something very important here that if you are trading and let's say for example i change this pair to usd gpy and i've changed the pair and you see market is moving up now i've changed the pair usd is now the base currency in this case what it means is that one us dollar is exchanged for this price because right now this is the current market price if you can see my cursor this is the current market price of the market so one us dollar is exchanged for 146.39 japanese yen so in this case let's say for example you you short from here or you sell from here a market go down you be in profit you make money if market goes up you lose if you buy from here a market move up or if you long from here market move up you be profit if market goes down you lose now in this very case as well when these charts begin to move upward in this case what it means is that us dollar is actually increasing in strength because usd is the base currency here so usd is the owner of the chart remember one monetary unit of the base currency is equal to the counter quote currency and the counter quote currency always have the value here that's what you should note the counter currency that's the currency on the right have the value here why the currency on the left which is the base currency is in one monetary unit value the reason why i'm emphasizing this is because it's very important don't just trade without knowing what trading is don't go into what you don't know so therefore in remit i teach and other instructors person like mr david and others teach in such a way that we simplify everything you understand not only here in technical and fundamental analysis let's say for example for those of you that are already watching the video on Remy Trade Forex, this very video that I did, um, that was two days ago, I talk about this market going to coming down from here. I say sell USGPY and the market drop after that very analysis from here up to this very point. And I say they should close. That was the next video on the channel right here. And the market is going to retrace, market retrace right now next week when market to open on monday this market is still going to drop back down and how is going to drop back down that will not based on a technical analysis from the monday chart which the prediction is that market will go up a little bit and then crash back down finally so all these things need to be properly understood but you have to take it from the fundamental basis and that is what we are doing tonight and tomorrow we'll go a little bit further into the rudiments of what you need to know for success remember i am here to guide you to success for free sell equal to short buy equal to long or you put it the other way around short equal to sell buy equal to long long equal to buy short equal to sell any of these is correct so the next thing I want to be looking at today is bid price. Very important. Bid price. The bid price is the price at which the market maker is ready to buy a given currency pair. And so at this price, the trader sells the base currency to the market maker. Who is the market maker? First of all, the market maker is your broker. 
the market maker are the bigger players in the market because originally the forex market is designed in such a way that you and I who are retail traders cannot go into the market directly. We have to pass through a middleman and that middleman is the broker who is called the market maker. So the bid price is shown on the left hand side of the currency quotation. I will show you in a moment. The bid price is shown in the, on the left hand side of the currency quotation. Note this, very important. Let me repeat again. The bid price is the price at which the market maker is ready to buy a given currency from you, the trader. You know, at that price to you sells. So if someone is buying from you at a price and you are selling at that price, that price is bid price to the person that is buying. In this case, the broker, the market maker. So for example, here, yeah, if, if you look at this, we have two prices that is reflecting on this chart, which is this and this, and they are different prices. The one on the left, this one, is called bid price. And this one, the market maker buy one monetary unit from you at this price. So you are selling JPY to the market maker for one dollar at this price so you are selling at this price the market maker is buying at this price the trader is selling at the bid price but the market maker is buying at the world at the bid price for for example you know that when you are bidding you want to buy something you bid 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 then at, at some point you buy when you go to market to price you know when you are trying to negotiate to call that process bidding and finally you buy so the other person now sells the same price but it means different thing to us when we are exchanging all right so the next one is axe price and the axe price is a price at which the market maker is ready to sell a given currency pair so that at that price the trader which is the buyer can buy the base currency from the market maker is just a flip over of what axe price is of what bid price is sorry and then the axe price is always on the right hand side of the currency quotation the axe price is always on the right hand side of the currency quotation okay, let, let, let me show you that in a moment if you look at here see this is the axe price is on the right hand side from your screen very simple to identify at this price you buy the base currency one us dollar you buy at this price why the broker sells to you okay so take note of that this is the axe price and this is the bid price very important so when you initiate a transaction to short in relation to this when you initiate a transaction to short let's say for example you think the market is going to go down and you short the market from here for market to go down when you short we say you do what you sell so at that price the broker do what buy from you so you use the words you're using the bid price is that okay you use the bid price then if you want to long from here you think market is going to go up and you buy the, at that point the broker sells to you so you're using the what this price here the axe price the, the, these are things that you know, most so-called forest traders don't understand. But you just trade, trade, trade. Most of them fall into a lot of temptations, and which is not good as a trader. Know what you are doing. Know it. Don't just go into what you don't know. And that is why most persons lose in the forex market. You will lose and lose and get tired because you lack the fundamental basis. But if you get the rudiments, the foundations, 
then you will be very successful in as much as others are successful you can you can that's the simple truth the next one is the spread the spread is different between the axe price and the bid price which is also known as transaction costs so this is the fee that the market maker or the broker charge you for the service they render to you for you to trade the forex market to them so you look at it as transaction fee okay transaction fee but simply put transaction cost which I mean the same thing so the spread is the ax price minus the bid price so if you come here something very important here as well you can do this calculation for us on your own just do it you minus this from this anything you have is a spread but for ease the spread is already calculated here if you look at it it's appearing on my screen this is spread 0 0.6 and in forex we can see this this is not up to one pip we'll come to pip and other terminologies and how it works later tomorrow but this is a spread so let's say for example this is a broker it means that this broker this broker is charging 0 0.6 pip for this currency pair because different currency pairs have their own spread depending on the time of trading and all of the stuff a lot of factors involved when you want to find out this okay so the difference between this and this gives you what you have here as spread and the spread is transaction cost the fee you pay broker to trade the forex market to them is what spread is all about okay let me do a practical example on a live account how to place a trade in the forex market very very important so i will I'll quickly go to my mt5 so all you need to do register with your broker and then you the market is on and this is a live account all you need to do is to register with your broker download mt5 which i will guide you through the process everything in the group when you register with your broker download mt5 you connect your mt5 with your account that you open on the broker's website so for you to do that connection very important don't mind how um, confusing the interface look we're going to explaining what all this mean when we begin to trade all right so all you need to do is to collect the user id and the password that you have from the broker's website and then you come to file and then you come here to login to trade account and then you put in your login and your password and then you choose the server like i said i'm using deriv and i'm using deriv server you choose the server deriv server the password and then the login which is getting from the broker's website not on mt5 mt5 is majorly for trading you place your trade you can also download mt5 on your smartphone you must not use pc you must not use desktop you can use a smartphone so once you put this in and click ok it will automatically connect and once it connects everything is fine all right so if you want to place a trade in the forex market the first thing you have to do is to do your analysis very important um, for the course of this training we'll be doing analysis because what we have to cover is very huge we will not do analysis but we do analysis in the uh subsequent trainings we'll have maybe next month or upper months so in this case you have to do analysis first thing first when you've done analysis and know that market is going to move in your favor that is in your predicted direction that is when you have to place a trade 
so let's say for example i just have to place a random trade right now for the sake of this very training just a random position i know that we'll be doing a lot of um live trading in forex we do a lot of live trading but for now let me just place a random trade so let's say for example i want to place a short position <coughs> maybe i believe that this market is going to move down so i will sell or short how will i do that i can do that by clicking this sell button or buy button but the right way to do it is to go to new order so you see new order right here you click on new order when you, when you click on new order the currency you have to choose will appear so you choose from the currency it's currency pays which i've already chosen euro usd in this case i'll talk about this market execution tomorrow i'll choose market execution market execution mean that i want the trade to execute instantly if i choose pending order that means i want to buy at a specific price and this pending order can be buy limit sell limit buy stop sell stop buy stop limit and sell stop limit either of these they are all pending orders and most of them are limit orders for buy and sell position but let me just go with a market order instant execution because i want this example to be very practical the next thing i have to do is to choose my volume this volume is also what we call lot size in the forex market i will explain what lot size means tomorrow don't miss it don't miss it don't miss it if you want to really grab this thing my lot size here the minimum that i can choose here is 0 0.01 lots and then for those of you that are familiar with stop loss i can set my stop loss to be maybe at 1.0 eight one two by using this and my take profit can use this as well and i can as well place the trade without setting stop loss and take profits and go come back after placing the trade to modify the trade and place my stop loss and take profits okay let me explain again go through the same process i said if i want to place a trade for example short or sell position you go to new order you click on it you choose the currency pay you want to trade that's the symbol type market execution and i said that market execution means that you want to place the order instantly on the instant and then volume means lot size for those of you that have traded the market before and this lot size i will explain in tomorrow's video so if you're watching on youtube watch the next video after this one okay so in this case i will just choose the least lot size which is 0 0.01 which is the mini lot sorry this is a micro lot in the market so this is a micro lot the one above this one is mini lot while the biggest one is a standard lot but tomorrow we'll talk about that in detail and you understand which one you should use depending on what you have in your account because that is what most forex traders make as mistake you go and use a hundred dollar account or five hundred dollar account and use a standard lot you blow your account and that's all for you but there is a way to minimize this thing and use a little lot size that you will not lose much even though you're losing and by the help of your, your stop loss it can help you fix how much you want to lose in a particular position let's say for example you want to lose a certain percent of your account you can set it to that amount but before i go into that let me first of all so right here i've chosen my volume which is my lot size and then i will not please stop loss i will not please take profit then i'll come here and click sell remember i want to short the market once i click sell i've placed the order okay you see done i've placed it don't print just okay it and that's all if you look at my screen you see sell 
Then the next thing here is 0 0.01, which is the lot size, at this is the price that I sold. And what happened here is that I sell US dollar. Okay, because I believe the market is going to come down. So US dollar is going to increase in strength to the downside. For example, I did not do any analysis, it's just to show you practically what you need to trade the forex market. So I sell and then I use 0 0.01 lot, which is a micro lot at this very price. You are seeing on the screen right here. So this is how you sell now. How can I see my position that I just place? If you go here, and uh, I want to show you that position that I just placed, and how it will look when you just place the position. So if you go to trade, you see the position right here. You see sell. See the ticket. First of all, you see the symbol Euro USD. You see the ticket. You see the time that I place it. You see the type sell, the volume 0 0.01, and the price here. Right now, I am in profit. If I am in loss, it will be negative something. But right now, I'm in profit of 0 0.03 cents. So it will be fluctuating like this until I close it. That is when I will collect this profit. So. If you don't close your trade, that profit that you are that you are seeing is a potential profit. It's not a profit yet because market can, you know, quickly go against you and you be in loss. So this is a potential profit. In crypto, we call it um, uh, uh, PNL. That's a potential profit and loss. Because you can actually lose the position. So in this case, I am a profit of 0 0.03 cents. And market, I believe market is going to move down a little bit before it will move to the upside because the market have over sell for a very long time. So this is how you place a short position on the forex market or a sell position on the forex market. Okay, so let me close this position. Two ways to close this position. If you look at this, please, I can simply click this thing. This thing means close. Okay, you see the market is going down in my favor. I can simply click this thing and I will close. So let me do that, this method for this one. So once I click, My acceptance and conditions. So once I click this, I'll close it. The money is now taken into my account. That profit that I just made now have been added to my account. And this profit now that I just take will reflect on my broker's website where you have your dashboard, where you verify your account and everything. Please, you don't verify account on MT5. MT5 or MT4, anyone you're using, depending on your broker, is a trading platform, not where you verify account. You just create the account on your broker's platform, carry the password and the username, come here to file and then go to login to trade account and then login and start trading. That's all. So, and you can create multiple accounts with your broker. You can create multiple accounts and use it anyhow you like. The next example I'm going to do is a buy position. Let's say, for example, let me change the pay as well. And then if you want to change the pay, it's very easy. You go here to market watch. Let's see this. But you have to add this to the chart. What I have added to the chart, but I'll just go to this place which is um, USD GPY. So in this case, USD GPY is moving up. I just want to click a buy position. Market has overbuy at the moment, but for the sake of example, I just want to place a buy position for you to see how it works. Like I said, what you have to do is you go over here to new order. Then this new order here, 
it's already taking USGPY for me to trade. But you can also change it if you want. You can change it. You can change it to to GBP USD or USD check. You can change it. But this market execution, like I said, market execution means that you want to buy instantly at the current market price. And then the volume. So I have to choose the volume right here. And then I'll click buy. Once I click buy, if you look at this, if you look at this very one, I am in loss of minus 0.55 cents. Okay, so this is how you please buy and sell position. In forex this is how you please buy and sell position very very simple and any person can do it like I said you can do this on your PC you can do this on your desktop you can do this on your smartphone like your smartphone that you have they are using to connect to this train you can do it right there it's very simple and like mr. David was telling you guys that it's very easy to make money from the forex market is very very easy all you need to do is to get the fundamental knowledge after the fundamentals which we're going to touch about 60 percent in this training today and tomorrow then you move over to technical analysis which is a very very important you gather the fundamentals about technical analysis because technical analysis have its own fundamental basis you know the fundamental about technical analysis and then you move on to trading what we do here in Remit is to teach you technical analysis and fundamental analysis that is news trading because they affect the market very very well so once you know these three things then you are good to go you will trade and be very very successful so let's say for example I want to close this position Okay, so I'll close this position right here. Okay, so let, let's say for example, let me go back to the slide and then um, why I navigate through this, we can begin to ask our questions. Okay, so um, time for Q&A very quickly. I want this section to be very serene. Remember this class continue tomorrow. I will explain a lot of stuff tomorrow and then wrap things up for you guys. All the classes are on YouTube. Like I said, please go to this very channel. There are daily updates that you will receive from this channel. Ensure you subscribe. That is a help you do to us. And the benefit of that is the profit that we get from this training from you. Just go there. I drop the link in the group. Just help subscribe to the channel and then stay updated with all the videos that will be released like i did one today okay and you still you stay updated about the markets so let's ask our question now yeah yeah for forex, for forex i would like to know like if you can edge the, the market because, because i saw I you place in long, long position, position and in short and position. position so i would like so to know like if you can, can edge the market, the market by placing both, both at the same time, same time using yes the yes you can <laughs> You can hedge with the, the same, with the same with this, this, the same currency pair. In fact, with the same lot, you can hedge. Wow, wow, very good. Yes. Thank okay, you. Sir. okay, sir. Thank you, sir, Thank for you, the opportunity and the experience. So, I expect I expect um, you should show us show like off, how to modify, how to modify the stop loss and tip off from the trade. Maybe you need to do this when you are pushing out the trade. How to modify your set of set of set of set of Okay, how to modify it after yes, sir. after yes, sir. placing the trade, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, let me see whether that will be possible right now. Okay, let me share my screen very quickly. Let's say, for example, I still have this trade running, okay? And currently, right now, is running in profits to the upside. So 
let's say I want to modify this trade. Remember, I did not place um, stop loss and take profit. But before that will happen, you have to know where your stop loss should be. So let's say I think the stop loss should be here. Let's say, for example, I believe the stop loss is, is here. Okay. And the take profit is somewhere up. So let's say the stop loss is at this price of um 145.7 let me use my my tool to identify that out so let's say at this point is a stop loss let's say 145.68 and take profit is somewhere higher here 16 um seven nine okay the ones for six point six eight let's use that so i will go here and then this is my position i will click on the position if you're using pc i will right click on the position and then you see here modify or delete you see close position and new order this is another method that i want to, I want to show you how to close I'll click on modify. So on modify, I'll go over here to my stop loss have to be one four five point what? What's around this area point? Let's say six seven. Why take profit one four six point seven six once i do this you see this button will appear and then i will click modify once i do that you see that there is a line that appears on the chart this line is a stop loss sign and then if you go a little bit up you will see um, the take profit um, sign also that will appear on the chart so these are very important and now you can modify your trade close your position and all of those stuff so okay let me leave this position open although we are in very massive profit of um, about 0.16 cent which is also very good for this kind of position so the next question so that i can use this to explain in case any other person have um, the question the next question please Also, I would like to I'll find, like out, to find something out something because I'm very conversant with trading, trading view. view. I'm new to this MT5 or MT4 something. So, so I know if you, you can, can connect your trading view with your forex account. Is it possible? It, yes, yes. I think some broker that are actually affiliated with trading view, you can actually do that. But that's not for this um, training, you know. You can actually do that. There is the, is the possibility is there, yeah. With this same this process, same process we can we find that all these things you need. No, on trading view should be different. No? It's a different platform. This is MT5. This MT5 is the same with MT4. It's just a little bit different interface. But if you're trading on MT4, you just go to file, go to login to trade account and login. Trading view should be different. Yes. All right. The, the next make, person. Make you know while 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 on, YouTube. on YouTube. The video will be available on YouTube. Okay. All right. The next question, please. Amy, can you ask your question? Amy, do you have any question? Okay. Um, someone is asking link to the channel. Please check the WhatsApp group. The link to the channel is already on the WhatsApp page. So from there, you can subscribe to the channel and if you're watching the video as well please help subscribe to the channel and also give, leave a like for this video you can share the video as well to um interested persons all right so any question um sunday your hand is up uh, uh, good evening good evening sir good evening thank you Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, uh, the question I want to ask is, is if you if want you to want start, to start uh, 
this trading, this trading like, like what is what your is minimum, minimum amount, amount you can amount use to use start? To start? And, uh, and how uh, can how you go can about, about this? this? How can you how go, can about, you go this? about this? Because, because in, in cryptocurrency, cryptocurrency we, we make use, make use of, of uh, 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 what was it? What was it? What was it? What was it called? USDT or oh, Binance? We use Binance. We use Binance. So, so, but here, yeah, what do we use? If you want to, want to I did, we are ready. You want, want to start, to start this trading? trading. Ah, you okay, it's, grab grab it. it's very simple. Like I said, if you are in the group, that's a WhatsApp group. The first thing you have to do is to get a broker, and I I pasted the link to the broker recommended for us on the group and I want to paste it now again okay so that so in case you miss that you can register with the broker after registering with the broker you go ahead and verify your account on the broker's page after you verify the account you deposit for example for this very recommended broker, you can use cryptocurrency, you can deposit cryptocurrency. For example, USDT, BTC, ETH, it has a lot of deposit options, which you can use even your card. I mean, your, your debit card. When you deposit, you start trading. But before you start trading, you should already have the knowledge of the market. And that is what Mr. Paradise and the entire Remy team want to do for every one of us here get your account registered with this broker i will guide you how to verify it a very simple step after verification you deposit then when you finish depositing i also guide you on how to connect it to your mt4 on full or on system that's all remember you have to know how to trade the market and you are you are good to go these are the things you need and you ask about the minimum amount when people ask this kind of question the minimum amount in forex the minimum amount i advise depend on number one your financial capacity and number two how much are you willing to lose it is very important and one thing we do we remit to tell you what it is how it is not by sugar coating it how much you can lose because the market is a very volatile market the reason is because if you enter the market without the knowledge of the market you will lose is is just certain you will lose but if you enter the market with knowledge and guide you will definitely win so you put the money that you can afford to lose number one number two your financial strength your financial capacity you can deposit $50 with this very broker, for example, and binary or derive.com. You can deposit $50 with them, minimum $50 for this broker. I believe that answers your question correctly. Uh, good day, uh, Mr. Sunday. Okay, go ahead, yes. Um, um, my question, my is, question is, if you have, if, you have, if a trading pair is at the price of 1.456, 1 1.2456, 1 1 1 1 1 1 what should be your stop loss? loss? If your trading pair is what, 1.1? 1 1.2456. 1 1 how, how do you see a trading pair? Yeah, no, you, you, you have to, you have, if you want to, Talk about something like this. You have to make mention of the currency pay. Then we bring out the currency pay, and then we talk about it. USD, 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 JPY. And there is something like two point something five six now. All the JPY pay, for example, here is one four five points. So you have to be very specific. What which one is talking about? Okay. Okay. I want to is, it, I just want is to it this is it this point or this area or what is the question? My question is on which, which area? area? Not area. Not which, area. What, is, what is would be your stop loss? loss? Let's say Let's if the policy pair is, is, is one point two four five six. Any pair, any policy pair. Okay, okay. Let's say for. Let me just answer a question generally. How do you place a stop loss? You place a stop loss based on your technical analysis if you are buying here and you believe market is going to go up from this point that means your stop loss have to be below if you sell here 
to market to go down market and uh, stop loss has to be above if you look at the one i please if you look at the one i please you see stop loss is below because i buy for market to move up i buy for market to move up so markets have to stop loss have to be below when you sell stop loss have to be above your selling point when you buy stop loss have to be below your selling point then let's say for example you buy here it means that market is going to move up but your stop loss have to be below this place and that is based on technical analysis number one based on the market structure number two resistance support number three if you're using indicator and number four demand supply level these things combination with what you have in your strategy will tell you where your stop loss should be and your stop loss should also align with your risk reward management because if you are risking twenty dollars and you are accepting twenty dollars it's okay one to one or risking twenty dollars to gain thirty dollars one to one point five risk reward ratio so setting stop loss generally depend on your technical analysis and your risk reward ratio these are the two most important things it, it depends on so in this case if you buy here your stop loss have to be anywhere below the price i believe that answer your question right yes yes All right. and uh, the next question is, is if we, we have, have gold, gold. We have gold, gold uh, 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 gold uh, 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 Okay. Which one is your base? Base price Gold is base. Why USD is good one? And you, and gold is represented by X. X A A U U S D. You know that, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Great. X A U U S D. That's good U S D pay. So X A U is for gold. You will not see gold in english language pronounces um, um, um format written on any chart you will see, always see x a u u s d that is for good all right the next question please hello hello yeah i can hear you go ahead hello hello i'm with hello? you ask hello? a question ask your question okay okay uh, my question was you, you made mention of um, um Placing, placing the trade, the trade. And, when and when you place, place your, trade, your trade then you then you you're talking, talking of, of uh, analysis. analysis so to, so to analyze, analyze the, the trade, trade how do we do, how it? do we do it yes to analyze the market to analyze yes. the market and know the direction of the market is the most important thing in trading yeah yeah, 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 yeah. that's the most important thing and like i said number one you have to understand what technical analysis is which is combination of candlesticks trend line drawing reason support everything about technicals and fundamental analysis secondly then you can now place your trade you can now know if the market is going to go up or down that is a different bargain that will take you up for months to study and learn and learn and learn which i'm also going to guide you through we are going to give you a step-by-step -step guideline on how to do that so for those of you that want to maybe enroll to the academy and start training with us immediately or start learning with us immediately the opportunity will be given to us after tomorrow free training so that you can join the academy and start learning from the very beginning of candlestick up to the advanced level together with fundamental analysis all of this impact together have already been designed in remit to make you a successful trader so how to go about it should be a challenge the only challenge here is for you to jump into the academy course when we are done with tomorrow's training you can jump into the course and start with the first batch of training we're going to do next week or upper week okay okay okay, okay. Yeah. thank you thank you thank you thank you uh, next question hello hello yeah can you yeah yeah Yes, yes. Can hear can hear I can hear you go ahead. Okay. Um, um, to join the class, class, class there, yeah, there, yeah. 
joined the class for the for the training. How much cost? Okay, how much the, the the academic course will cost will also be dropped in the group, but I assure you to be at discount offer because we're going to treat you from the beginning to the advanced level and we're going to give signals, accounts management, there are other benefits plus ebook written by my humble self. We'll give you ebook that will further explain it plus videos. A thorough guide, okay? So it will be at a discount price for those of you that are joining immediately after tomorrow's training. But everything will be dropped in the WhatsApp group. If you're not in the WhatsApp group, please request for the link after the class. Or oh, Mr. David, help me paste the link on the the chat box on the Zoom for them to join. Hello, sir. Yeah, ask a question. So, so, I want to know whether the demo chat and the real account chat are they the same type of chat or the demo is kind of different from the real account? No, they are the same. They are the same kind of chat. The same kind of chat. The only thing that the only thing is that on demo you're using the visual money, but on real account you're using your real money. Okay, so more more like okay. for having the same, same chat. Yes, it's the same chat. Yes, you can get them on the same chat. You can connect them here. Yeah. The same thing. Just go to. Just go to file, log into existing account that you've created from your broker's demo, and then when you come here, you just put in the login. But in this case, you're going to choose demo, derive demo. This is for demo account. But I am not on demo account. Okay, I'm, on, okay. I'm turning on live account. Yes. In this case, you choose derive okay. demo. Okay. All right. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you. Siri, Siri Williams, go ahead. Okay, okay. Uh, you made mention of an, uh, a lot size. Okay. And I don't. I would like to know the difference between lot size and uh, leverage. Okay, come to tomorrow's class. I will reserve a question because that's what I will be taking tomorrow and plus other stuff. So be. In tomorrow's class, okay. Mm -hmm. Let me not answer tomorrow's question today. I will give a practical demonstration, but tomorrow I'm not going to place a trade because the market should close by tomorrow Saturday. But I will give a a very well explainable, understandable examples. Okay, okay. My, my last question, please. I would like, I would to, like find to find out at the end of, end of the end of class. class. I would like I would to find, find out how, how you used to use your, your uh, Windows, Windows 11. 11. Record your YouTube videos. Okay, okay, no problem. <laughs> All right. Which other question again? Like I said, you can ask me any question at all. Any question you want to ask, even the script to no problem. I can see and say, I can see just like that person asked what I use in recording my my stuff. So, I can answer. Any question? Right, ask. <coughs> Forex is the more volatile market than crypto. Forex is a more volatile market than crypto. Yes. It's a more liquid market than crypto anyway. You should know that Forex is a more liquid market. But sometimes volatility in crypto can be very, very crazy. Okay. Um. What next? Any other person? Question and answer yes, section. Yes. Yeah, yes. 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 Um, um, kind of you of the bit in it, but the price of Bitcoin, like the one like I one had, had they said the price is going to going to, to come down a little bit, and now the press press the press press of the press the upside. So you make you make place of 
use of fundamental analysis for this analysis or do you use technical analysis the future model of the analysis it is very important okay my analysis on youtube especially for bitcoin or cryptos is always based on fundamental and technical but i don't need mention of fundamental because i already get the data i analyze it before i come to do the video okay so mostly what i do is just the technical part of the video i just show you i tell you where the market is going to go to and um some um, challenge i have with viewers is that if you don't understand how the market moves you may not understand the analysis you must understand technical analysis for you to understand when i'm doing those technicals so it's a combination of both technicals and fundamental analysis okay yeah. okay the last question for tonight the last question please okay i have a question, question please, please. <laughs> Ask, ask your first. Hello, good evening to you. Evening, do not use. Yeah, my question is this. Can you hear me? I can hear you perfectly, but I don't know. No, it's breaking. It's actually breaking. Okay, I can hear you. Go ahead, yeah. So, my question is analysis of crypto, forex, are they the same based on your analysis? No, oh, they're not. The no, they are not the same. They are crypto analysis is different from forex analysis. Like I said, there are two different markets. Crypto market is for digital currencies. Why forex market is for fiat currency, countries currency. So when you're trading forex, you are trading one country's economy against the other. That's what you are doing in forex. But crypto is a digital coin, and the currencies are different. For example, you are analyzing. BTC USDT in crypto, but in Forex, we are, we are doing USDJPY or you are doing ETH USDT in crypto, but in Forex, we are doing USD NZD or Euro USD. So it's a different market and a different analysis. So everything about the market is different, but when it comes to technical part of it, like technical charts here for you to analyze your chart, you can use the idea in Forex. To apply in crypto technicals and use the the idea you have concerning maybe chart patterns, candlestick patterns, and support resistance in crypto, and also apply in forex and it will work. Technicals are different, the, the same, but fundamentals are different. Mode of operation are also very very different. Uh, do not use. Do you understand that? Hi, I, can, I, can, I can I can barely, barely hear you. Network, network is so, is so bad. bad. Really, really terrible. terrible. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, watch the recording, please. I'm so sorry. Watch the recording. So we're in the class here for today. Um. All right. So we're in the class for today. Please ensure subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to turn on the notification.